Whenever a person has been injured through the fault of another and compensation is sought, you must bring your lawsuit within two years from the date that the harm was incurred. This is what is referred to as the statute of limitations. If your suit is not brought within a two-year time period, it is forever barred. By way of example, if you received an injury on January 1, 2008 as a result of a car accident, a fall, a defective product or a medical error, you must bring your case within two years of the date of that accident, or January 1, 2010, or it is forever barred. There are slight modifications to this, one of which is in medical malpractice. Many times, a patient is harmed, but are unaware they are harmed as the result of a medical error of their doctor or hospital. A simple example of this is if an individual had a surgical procedure done, and through a medical error, a piece of equipment was sewn up inside the wound when the surgery was completed. Several years later, the patient begins to experience pain and becomes very sick and then sees their doctor. An x-ray or CAT scan is then taken and the piece of equipment is seen. Surgery is now needed and treatment is then commenced. In this example, the two-year statute of limitations begins to run when the x-ray discovered the piece of equipment. This is what is referred to as the discovery rule and one exception to the two-year statute of limitations. If you've been injured through the negligence of another, it is imperative that you obtain counsel as soon as possible so as not to lose your rights by failing to have your claim filed timely. If you've been injured and have questions, call us. And remember, at Anzalone Law Offices, we're proud to represent the injured.